The Ars Magna is an important book on algebra written by Girolamo Cardano. It was first published in 1545 under the title Artis Magna, Sive de Regulis Algebraicis Liberunus. There was a second edition in Cardano's lifetime, published in 1570. It is considered one of the three greatest scientific treatises of the early Renaissance. Together with Copernicus ad a revolutionibus orbium coelestium and Vesalius ad a humana corporis fabrica, the first editions of these three books were published within a two-year span. History In 1545 Niccolo Fontana Tartaglie became famous for having solved cubics of the form x3 plus ax equals b. However, he chose to keep his method secret. In 1539, Cardano, then a lecturer in mathematics at the Piatti Foundation in Milan, published his first mathematical book, Pratica Arithmetici A Mensurandi Singularize. That same year, he asked Tartaglia to explain to him in his method for solving cubic equations. After some reluctance, Tartaglia did so, but he asked Cardano not to share the information until he published it. Cardano submerged himself in mathematics during the next several years working on how to extend Tartaglia's formula to other types of cubics. Furthermore, his student Lodovico Ferrari found a way of solving quartic equations, but Ferrari's method depended upon Tartaglia's since it involved the use of an auxiliary cubic equation. Then Cardano became aware of the fact that Scipione del Ferro had discovered Tartaglia's formula before Tartaglia himself, a discovery that prompted him to publish these results. Contents The book, which is divided into 40 chapters, contains the first published solution to cubic and quartic equations. Cardano acknowledges that Tartaglia gave him the formula for solving a type of cubic equations and that the same formula had been discovered by Scipiano del Ferro. He also acknowledges that it was Ferrari who found a way of solving quartic equations. Since at the time negative numbers were not generally acknowledged, knowing how to solve cubics of the form x3 plus ax equals b did not mean knowing how to solve cubics of the form x3 equals ax plus b, for instance. Besides, Cardano also explains how to reduce equations of the form x3 plus x2 plus bx plus c equals 0 to cubic equations without her quadratic term, but, again, he has to consider several cases. In all, Cardano was driven to the study of 13 different types of cubic equations. In Ars Magna the concept of multiple root appears for the first time. The first example that Cardano provides of a polynomial equation with multiple roots is x3 equals 12x plus 16, of which minus 2 is a double root. Ars Magna also contains the first occurrence of complex numbers. The problem mentioned by Cardano which leads to square roots of negative numbers is, find two numbers whose sum is equal to 10 and whose product is equal to 40. The answer is 5 plus square root minus 15 and 5 minus square root minus 15. Cardano called this, sophistic, because he saw no physical meaning to it but boldly wrote, nevertheless we will operate, and formally calculated that their product does indeed equal 40. Cardano then says that this answer is, as subtle as it is useless. It is a common misconception that Cardano introduced complex numbers in solving cubic equations. Since Cardano's formula for a root of the polynomial x3 plus px plus q is square roots of negative numbers appear naturally in this context. However, q2 quarters plus p3 27ths never happens to be negative in the specific cases in which Cardano applies the formula. Bibliography Kalinger, Ronald, A Contextual History of Mathematics, Prentice Hall, ISBN 0-2-318285-7, Cardano, Gerolamo, Ars Magna or the Rules of Algebra, Dover, ISBN 0-486-67811-3. 
Jindiken, Simon, Tales of Physicists and Mathematicians, Berkhauser, ISBN 3-7643-3317-0.